This video is about one of the main causes of cancer, which is uh, infections in the uh, dental area. Um, your dentist, nice guy, could be part of the problem here. And the root canal is definitely a source of uh, toxin, toxins for the body that can cause cancer. If you get cancer, are you going to scream, run, or are you going to take it easy and figure it out? Here's a still shot of a video of a blood cell analysis showing the bacteria between the blood cells and the plasma. Uh, bacteria, uh, different types of bacteria have uh, tails that allow them to move around called flagella. This video shows the active uh, bacteria swimming around in the plasma between the blood cells. Uh, the count is pretty high in this video. And the uh, subject then uh, did 33 days of blood electrification. And now we're fixing to see the difference in the blood. We'll see healthier looking blood cells and a lack of bacteria between the blood. It's not 100% cleared out, but he hasn't finished his uh, two months of uh, treatment yet either. This shows proof positive that the blood ratification has a positive effect against blood bacteria. Microbes, like all living things, produce waste which contains toxins. In this case, toxins which uh, suppress our immune system, which allows tumor growth and creation. There's uh, research plenty enough that show that uh, bacterial toxins disable the immune system. And on my site, there's a good write-up on uh, the research by Robert Jones showing the inhibition of the three cancer suppression proteins in our cells by the presence of uh, toxins from uh, infected dental ex extracts. Merkula has an excellent site on this same subject, which is well worth exploring. But uh, the rest of this video, I want to try to explain how the process actually happens from infected tooth to root canal procedure to toxins preventing our natural anti-cancer fighters in our body. The tooth is surrounded by a hard shell that is totally impervious to bacterial invasion or penetration. The top part being the enamel and the bottom the cementum. Between the enamel and the uh, inner core is the uh, dentin which is mostly uh, tubules of a very uh, mineral, high mineral content stuff, whatever you call it, um, and the inner core being the uh, pulp that contains the uh, blood vessels and, and nerves which come up from the very tip of the root. And so there's a good control between the inner part of the tooth and the outer tissues. The normal sequence is this. Bacteria eat through the enamel, which then infects the pulp once it becomes deep enough, which then infects the root. The dentist clears out the infection in the top part, drills out the roots, then fills the roots with a rubbery substance, and then fills the top part with a harder substance. But what we have here is infected dentin. This uh, micrograph shows the tubules inside the dentin which can house the bacteria. And an escape path is the accessory canals. Look at the bottom canal on this drawing. They, they shoot off like tree roots. The dentist fills the main canal, but not the accessory canals. It's through those accessory canals that the bacteria in the dentin can escape 
to the outer tissue, which then becomes a constant source or path for the uh, bacterial toxins to continually enter the body, circulating the body, going to all the cells of the body, and affecting the, uh, the three proteins that our body uses to suppress cancer. And there's nothing to stop that process from continuing. So if you have a root canal procedure done, you have like a 75% chance that that is a constant source of toxification for your body, a constant uh, open door for cancer to grow. So many people with the root canals feel helpless because of the enormous expense of putting in dental implants in place of the infected tooth. But I want you to know there's help along the way in the form of electromedicine. There's an electromedicine device that is a combination of two devices, the microbe electrifier and DC electrifier. The microbe electrifier is a Beck blood electrifier that kills bacteria in the blood. This stops them from emitting immune disabling toxins. The DC electrifier allows you to apply direct current to your teeth to kill any infecting bacteria there. Treatment is by putting one electrode on top of the infected tooth and the other electrode in the direction of the tooth on the face or below the jaw. Current flows between the electrodes and affects the, uh, the tooth in between them to kill the bacteria there. Here are the studies showing effectiveness of direct current against bacteria. Beck had first experimented with using direct current but found it was too harsh on the blood. Then he tried low frequency AC and had success with it, but it had an unwanted side effect called, that he called electroporation that I call transfection. But this combo device, which I'm presenting to you, uh, prevents that when you select the frequencies of 10 or 40 hertz. Here's the website where you can buy this device. To close this video, let's listen to what Beck had to say about blood cleansing and cancer. Now, uh, the lady in the back of the room, Jane, had inoperable cancer when I met her, or shortly after I met her. Oh, stand up again, Jane. Thank you, dear. She said, I'm going along with blood cleansing here and not the chemotherapy and radiation that the doctor had said that if I do not have, I will surely die. And her daughter was just outraged. Kathy and her mother just about had a knockdown drag out because her mother didn't do all of this chemotherapy and have her hair drop out and her stomach. Well, you, you've heard the stories. Now she's totally well. Her last several physicals, biopsies and CAT scans have shown not one speck of cancer anywhere in her body. Neither has, <laughs> neither have dozens and dozens of terminal cancer patients. We always have some at every talk that I do. Toward the end of last year, there was a dark field microscopist. You know his name. He's world famous. He's the fellow who trains doctors all over the world to use this type of technology for diagnostic work, who invited a chap in who had been on one of these blood cleaners for about six months. And he said, let's look at your blood. So he pricked his finger, put that drop of blood on the bottom of a cover, C-O-V-E-R slip, put that cover slip on a microscope slide and looked at it. And he said, you don't have any background clutter in your blood. Of course, they couldn't see viruses. This was a light microscope, and this had about 3,000 magnification, back eliminated. He said, just a minute, I must have done something wrong. So he stuck another finger, stuck another one. Then he went to the earlobe, made a slide, and said, what have you been doing? 
anyone who has ever come to me, man, woman, or child, in the last 13 years, you can see the parasites, many of the uh, germs, microbes, bacteria swimming around in the blood. You don't have any at all. And Mike told the other Mike, well, I've been on the blood cleaner. So this Dr. Mike said, well, give me some of those. I've got to try them with patients of mine. I don't believe you. He did, and they worked. And this and the freedom of speech, my First Amendment rights, are the only reasons that I'm able to stand in front of you today and give you this information that I feel must be the most valuable information you've heard in this lifetime. Because if you do want your family to live, if you do want your children, your friends, to be healthy, not sickly and weak, do this. It does work. This is not my opinion.